Um, oh, I can hear myself through you. <laughs> um, and just, oh my gosh, inspiration every time I see you, Rachel. You, you are the living product of the product. You, you show how Purium, what Purium can do for somebody, just vibrance and, you know, just health and activity and action. So um, I, I, I reach up to, to Rachel a lot to just ask for like nutritional advice. So she's a, she's a good advisor there. She literally conquered Hashimoto's, um, which was debilitating. She was literally on the couch for, for a while, had to quit her job. And through, through these nutritional protocols, she was able to just in a couple days bounce off the couch and say, I want to exercise, <laughs> which is a testimonial right there. <laughs> and, um, and then also b because it became such a huge wake up call for her, how food is medicine, she's been able to turn her finances into um, turn around and into, you know, uh, I guess rags to riches, if you will, in a, you know, in a funny way. I, 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 I'm always impressed where when somebody has a mission and a passion and they actually, it supports them because that's not common anymore. So, so I'm inspired in many ways by your vibrance, but also, you know, your, your, your technique of being able to take your passion and, and make a living out of it. So that's why I chose Rachel to be, uh, the leader of this meeting and so she could share some of her her secrets and her um her knowledge and see if you know if others want to you know get get wind of that vision and, and fly with it so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited to be here oh thank you nicole that was so <laughs> sweet i love you <laughs> this woman amazing all of you guys i think some of you guys are probably her students in yoga and know her from around but she's just an amazing woman i appreciate her she's one of my new favorites i got to meet her through purium and um she is just such a light and uh, really fit <laughs> <laughs> can't deny it um so yeah i'm really happy to be here thank you for welcoming me and um, appreciate seeing all these faces all of you guys um some of you on here I've seen, I've seen you guys have transformations and actually have some pretty good experiences. And if you have done the 40 day transformation or any, any aspect of Purium, I would love for you to just drop in the comments, just like share some of your experiences, like share what, what you've gotten out of using um, these products and how it's maybe changed your life. And uh, meanwhile, I'm going to share my story and talk about how my life has been changed by Purium. And uh, Nicole said the half of it. She said it was only a couple days and I was bouncing off the couch. She's totally exaggerating. It was seven days. <laughs> okay, just to set the record straight, <laughs> seven days. <laughs> so, but seriously, I mean, that's a miracle, right? I mean, even seven days is like a complete miracle for me to like jump off the couch. Um, you know, my, my own health experience. So yeah, I started off with Hashimoto's autoimmune disorder of the thyroid. Um, I had adrenal fatigue, brain fog. I was really, really, really pretty down and out. Um, I was at a point where my friends were going to do a GoFundMe to try to figure out if I had some kind of brain cancer or something going on because my memory was shot. Um, I was, you know, gaining weight, couldn't lose it. Um, feeling just really exhausted all the time. I had to literally take a nap before I would get out of my car. I'd have to be like, okay, I got to the store. Now I'm going to nap for 15 minutes, do a little power nap. And then, all right, now I'm going to get up and get into the store. And then I come back from the store, sit in my car and knock out into another power nap. Okay. Now I'm going to drive home. Just got to get that energy together to drive home. And then I drive home and then I get home and I sometimes sleep in the car before I got out of the car to get into my house. I mean, it was really that exhausting. So, um, you know, and I had been a wedding photographer prior to that, but I was really, really, um, you know, I was making a six figure income. I was actually doing pretty well, but I was working really, really hard and I was not getting very far in terms of like, I had this health thing going on. And then I was starting to think, how am I going to make money and actually save money when I'm in my fifties and in my sixties? And how am I ever going to retire? Is that possible? You know, at my age, I couldn't even imagine retiring. I thought I should probably invest in real estate, but then again, you know, you have to make money to invest in real estate. And I was really struggling with my health. So I'd been already turning away clients and I wasn't saving money. I was just slowly, slowly declining. 
So I was really grateful. Um, you know, I, I, I started studying nutrition. I became an Ayurvedic practitioner because I was trying to figure it out, trying to get well, trying to get healthy. So I thought that was going to be my next career. But I was really praying for some opportunity to come along to offer me residual income. And I had no idea. I finally said, I'm going to stop trying to control the outcome. Just universe, God, you know, the powers that be, angels, just tell me, what is the way out? Give me just something happened. I don't know what it is. I'm going to stop trying to decide myself, but somebody, some, something just, I just opened myself to the opportunity. I just said, look, this got, things have just got to change. I just can't live like this the rest of my life. I don't think I'm going to last that long. And, um, you know, so I was looking for a residual income and, uh, there's a thing telling me to have my shake and super dampen. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, you know, I was really not expecting the opportunity to come in the form of Perium. I really was not. I thought there would be two things. I'm, I'm, I'm determined to get healthy and I'm determined to find residual income. Those are my two prayers, but they came together in one. I'm gonna go ahead and actually mute everybody because I'm hearing a little extra background noise. And um, there. So, you know, I ventured into the products. Um, but I kind of knew that there was this gift card program because someone had given me $50 off of my product and that's what inspired me to try it. And uh, I knew that I had a lot of other friends that needed help and that could really use a cleanse and could really use, you know, some of the things that we had. And uh, so I jumped right in both feet. I said, I want to learn how to, I want to learn how to, you know, share this. And I also want to get well and let's just see what happens. Now, I didn't think it would get me so well, but obviously, like Nicole said, within a couple of days, I was bouncing off the couch. I was like, oh my God, I need to get to the gym. I have so much energy. What do I do? Anybody else feel like that? Did anybody else who did the transformation like feel like suddenly I have tons of energy? I'm just curious of like who's had a good experience on the products. Um, I know a few people, you know, some of you guys have, you know, are new. Um, any other hands? I see one hand raised. Put, put in the comments, go ahead and put in the comments if you felt any kind of changes in your sleep, any kind of changes in your energy, um, any kind of changes at all. I'm seeing a few hands. Um, all of it, Rowan says. <laughs> I, you did, Regina. Okay, great. Wonderful. So, um, you know, clearly, clearly there was something in it. And I, you know, as I dug deeper into the rabbit hole, I really, really wanted to understand what it was that was behind these products that made them so good. And as I learned, I became really, really on board with the mission of this company, the mission and the vision of this company. So Dave and Amy, I want to talk about David Sandoval and Amy Venner, or Amy Venner and David Sandoval, whichever order you want to put them in. They're both amazing. Um, just to give you guys a clue, just to give you guys a sense, there is something that we all do every day at least probably some of us, um, that actually they are impacting on a daily basis. And it's when we choose our food at the grocery store. How many of you guys look for the USDA organic food label when you're shopping? You're like trying to get mostly organic or all organic and that matters to you, right? Well, guess who brought us the USDA organic food label? Amy and Dave. They pioneered that label. They are the reasons we have that label. They lobbied and got it passed. And so now we have the USDA organic food label that came from them. They are your heroes, Rowan. They are my heroes too. I'm so glad. <laughs> so, you know, so they've been impacting my life almost, you know, for the last 30 years since we started getting those labels. And, uh, and I finally got to meet them and they're amazing people. So, you know, they have a mission and a vision for purity. They strive for excellence. They strive for quality. And to give you, a, I'm just going to tell you a couple more stories about the company. So they have this incredible farm. It's in Utah. And it's an old, ancient lake bed, untouched, pristine, and 100 miles away from polluting industries. Now, how many of you have ever even thought of this? Like, I never even before I joined this company thought about the fact of where my stuff has grown and how far any polluting industries might be coming from and just getting onto the leaves getting into the soil and actually contaminating the food that I'm eating just through air pollution. So air pollution isn't even something I thought of. These guys thought of that. They wanted to be away from polluting industries. Now, what we actually get 
from the ground. Now we might, it's hard to compare apples and apples and oranges and oranges, let alone apples to oranges. So you can see two beautiful apples or two beautiful things of grapes. And they look, both look amazing, colorful, whatever, but that one of them is full of nutrition and the other one is completely lacking. One of them might be totally full of nutrition and the other one might be completely contaminated with pesticides. So, you know, the pesticides is also another problem that we're gonna talk about in a little while. And like, this is um, something that the Trium has found the solution to as far as like our health. But you know, the fact that the fact is is that how we actually farm, how our company farms makes a huge difference in the quality of the nutrients, which explains why people have an amazing experience and suddenly have full of energy, feeling great, because we have superfoods, right? What makes them super? What makes them powerful? So, you know, what we put in the soil is what we were putting in our mouths. So if we're throwing down pesticides on the soil, if we're not rotating crops, if we're not like making sure that we're putting compost down, we're not replenishing the soil. We need to do several things to make sure that we have a healthy set of grapes, right? If you want healthy grapes, you gotta have good soil, which means uncontaminated soil, soil where crops have been rotated. So whatever nutrients have been pulled out of the soil and during a harvest, the new plants that are put down are different plants so that they're putting different nutrients back into the soil. All right, so soil health is important. Um, Non-contamination is important. Non-irradiation is important. Um, where it's grown as far as like crosswind pollution that's coming from the environment, all these things are things that these guys thought of. These are our heroes, Amy and Dave. So um, that's a little bit about their vision. And then to say a little bit about what some of the things that the company's been up to is, um, you know, we had this farm in Thailand. There, I mean, there's 200 farmers in Thailand who were um, really uh, needing to make an income. And they had this opportunity to go with Monsanto and they would not be sell, eat, selling organic rice anymore, I'll tell you that much. But we gave them an opportunity to partner with us. Dave and Amy said, hey, look, we would love for you to grow our rice bran solubles. We want you to stay organic and we will promise food, we will promise economic security. So if the price, is, price changes, the market fluctuates, we will still pay the same amount so that you are guaranteed to get a profit. So we created job security. And one of the things that I love that we do is, um, you know, David and Amy are very much philanthropic. As you can tell, since they started the USDA organic food label, Thank you very much. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but they actually, in Thailand also, we have, there's a girls, there's a rescue, sorry, there's an orphanage for girls who are rescued from sex trafficking. And we were providing food for that shelter. So we we're giving back to the community there. And I have seen David Amy send disaster relief to the fires here where I live in Santa Rosa. By the way, I'm Rachel High in Santa Rosa. <laughs> so I've seen like tons of fire relief come here. Um, when there were flood, when the floods happened in Hawaii, they sent shipment boxes and boxes of food to Hawaii. Um, they sent boxes of, of food to the Big Island where the lava was, right? So we had like this crazy. We had lots of friends in, in our teams that were like losing losing homes and all these different things that happened in this last one year. And uh, David and Amy sent boxes of food to all these different places. So this is the heart of this company. This is like really where this company is coming from on a soul level. And so I just really feel like that's important because for me, um, you know, I want to earn a living. I definitely want to be able to have residual income in my old age. I want to be able to retire. And I want to know that whatever I'm doing for my livelihood is having a good impact and not having a bad impact. So I feel really good representing a company where I know that the nutrients are pure, organic, non-GMO, that I'm meeting guys with again, that, um, that it's pure. And also knowing that, uh, that where my dollar is going to, going to is mattering. So David and Amy, rather than putting all this money into marketing and sending, you know, and like in selling this on Amazon, which by the way, what I've heard recently about Amazon is killing me. I cannot 
handle how that company is run. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, you know, people are making really, really low amounts of money and a peop the person at the top is making like a whole bunch. I have friends in this company who are making way more than Amy and Dave are. I have friends in this company making more than Dave is making. And he's the formulator and the founder of this company. So this is not, you know, this is a, this is a, a different type of um, business model than anything I've ever seen. And uh, it's akin to, if you think about uh, Uber, right? So if, you know, has anybody driven an Uber before? And, uh, or referred it to a friend, you get $10. So if I refer my friend, I say, hey, Wes, check out Uber. And he, he gets an Uber, he's gonna, I'm gonna get $10. Now, imagine if every single time he rode an Uber, I got $10. What? Every single time, not just the first time, but every time I, he rode Uber, I got $10. They gave me a little kickback and said, thank you. And what if every time he told his friends about Uber, then I got $10. And then every time his friend's friends rode, and every time, not just once, like every time they're riding, I got $10, right? Could you imagine, like we are, we have this huge network of friends. We have all these people we're referring to all the time, right? How many of you guys have referred a person to a movie lately? I just told everybody to see Rich Crazy Asians and now I'm telling everyone to see The Wife, okay? I am giving my entire network over for free to this organization to make money, right? To all these different other organizations. How many of you tell people to go, oh my God, this most amazing restaurant you have to check out, you know, slice of life, it's the bomb diggity. Um, this new vegan restaurant just opened up next door. You know, you're gonna tell everybody about it. You're gonna tell your friends and you're gonna go with your friends. You're gonna bring your friends there. So we're already sharing about our network. We're already telling everybody about what we do. We're giving our networks away for free. Right? We love it. We're fine. We're like, that's cool. I just want to share the love. I want everyone to enjoy what I'm enjoying. Well, this is what happens with Purian is I had an amazing experience and I told people and those people told people who told people who told Nicole. So those of you guys who are oriented towards Nicole, because of me sharing, a bunch of my friends shared, we shared with her and now she's sharing. So it's that same model, right? And this, so what I love about it is that it's a, it's a, it's a company of purity. It's, I feel like it's, it's, and it's economically fair, like the amount of work we put into it, however much we want to share is what we're going to get out of it. Um, I love that the company is not pouring their money into some advertising agency that has nothing to do with us, like Amazon or something. They're not pouring their money into some other company that really doesn't care about the, doesn't care about the environment, that doesn't care about helping people. They're just in it because they're like, well, I'm a marketing company. I'm just making money, right? So the company is giving back to people who actually value the product, who value what we're doing, and who, um, and then the company itself is going on to be philanthropic. And, and you know, Dave has got a star in Hollywood. You guys know that? <laughs> there is a star in Hollywood for Dave. We're going to have to go over there and give it a little kiss. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, this is the opportunity that we share. Um, this is not a get rich quick scheme but it can potentially be a get rich slow scheme. <laughs> if you wanna put in the time and really share this with the people that you love, you can offer them this, it's the most unique gift card marketing program. I mean, it's so unique, the fact that you can give people a gift card for $50 off and offer them this opportunity to um, try your product at a major discount, right? And the company is taking that risk, like, yeah, go ahead, try our products. And um, for $50 off, we know that they're so good that we're trusting that you're going to want to come back and get more. Right? And so then you get 20% of whatever anybody orders of the profit. So, um, so I just want to kind of like give you guys a little flavor of, of what this social, what the social sharing economy is. And um, I wanted to invite Nicole to come on and share her story because um, it's been really wonderful to watch you share, Nicole. You have had a transformation yourself that's really beautiful, like your own health. And I'd love for you to share kind of just like what you're up to and, and what your experience has been just joining, just, you know, naturally sharing, which has come naturally to you. Okay. Thank you. I love your story. Um, my story is funny because I was already doing really well. I had fitness and I was drinking healthy drinks, like green drinks and 
Um, I, I've been, you know, mostly vegetarian. So, and I've been gluten free for a couple of years. So I thought I really don't need any help. But this is the funny thing that happened. So I've been going to a lot of the juice bars in town um, because I always think for some reason I pride myself on the idea of I have a fresh juice every day. And so I was waiting in line at Whole Foods and, you know, just the guy, you know, taking his time, no big deal. I, I, I consider myself a busy, busy businesswoman. You know, I have a yoga studio, I'm on the go. And, uh, and I ordered the mix of something, I beets, whatever. And, and I drank it or I had a sip of it. First it's eight bucks. And I, I don't ever pay for the extras. I never pay for the, the shot of wheatgrass or anything. Cause I'm cheap, you know, I mean, I didn't want to spend extra money, but I would like that. But I always felt like it wasn't good enough. Like it wasn't good enough. Like I was like, wait, there's orange juice in here. Why am I paying $8 for orange juice? I was never quite satisfied. So I had this part of me that was looking for something better. But the fact that I did it every day or somewhere, and then, you know, just dawned on me recently, you know, all those times I did that, it wasn't even organic. And so I had this part of me that was wishing that I had a better system for my green drink. And then Celeste came along, it was about five months ago, and she basically tried to tell me about this nutrition. And I kind of felt like I got, I'm good. But when I finally just opened up to that and I tried it, I was like, this is what I've been wanting. And I feel so revitalized. This is the thing I've been wanting to feel. This is the thing I've been wanting to taste. This is the thing. And it's light years better as far as quality than anything I could find in this town or make myself, even if I had my own garden. I'm not gonna grow wheatgrass and spirulina in that garden unless, I mean, a miracle, right? So they had me at hello with the green drink. Okay, but check out these guns. Okay, anyway, I'm talking about the fact that I've been doing protein in some fashion by trying to be vegetarian protein, then I started doing meat protein, thinking I wasn't good enough. I wasn't. I wasn't getting enough protein, and here's why. I didn't know it. I wasn't assimilating the protein that I was eating. Boom, right? I was eating, taking it in. My body was going, no. When I started doing the aminos, I was like, check. All the lights came on because my body said, I don't have to freaking figure out how to digest it, pre-digest it. So, bam, that was extra bonus. Um, and then the cherry, I sleep like a rock star. So every product in the four core was like, I was firing all cylinders, so I was so in. And then my, you want me to talk about my uh, my financial awakening? Okay, so I've been teaching yoga for eight, teaching yoga for eighteen years, and uh, I should by now be if if that would would accrue a better income, I should be very wealthy by now. Um, I have lots of trainings. I have a studio. I've done almost everything you can in the yoga scene to to make a good living and it's just harder and harder because there's competition more so than ever and it's not that my yoga is compromised i still offer a really good product at the studio it's just that there's so many other places doing it that i needed a side job i was thinking okay this is just keeping me afloat how am i gonna make the other ends meet and I didn't even consider Purium. Like you, Rachel, it didn't dawn on me that this was going to be the thing. In fact, I signed up because I thought, I'm. people ask me about nutrition all the time. This will be easy. This will be easy for me. And it is. I didn't realize, though, that within four months, I'm going to be making more money in four months of doing this business than I've been making in 18 years. And I'm talking about I've never made in one month the amount I've made Imperium and the yoga world. So I was like, wow. I pulled up to the yoga studio, my studio on last Thursday, and I had this wake up call. I pulled it, I go, this is my side job. <laughs> this yoga thing is my side job. This is my mission. Mission, 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 mission is so exciting for me because the, yoga's, the yoga is a great mission, but this is more potent. When you start changing what people put in here and not just what they do for one hour a day, it's more effective. So I thought, keep doing the yoga, but do this first. Do this first. So I love the connection. I love the combination. It's, it's, married, it's a perfect marriage. Um, uh, I just feel like 
it's, 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 a, it's a prayer I didn't even know I had. It came to me because it knew I needed it. And so I, I'm very excited about it. And, and, and I want everybody to, to, to jump in this, this, this mission, this revolution to save uh, our body, our health, the planet, the organic farmers, the orphan, the, the, the girls in the orphanage, like one quest, many, many benefits. Mm. Amen, sister. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much for sharing that. It's such a potent and moving story. And, um, you know, Celeste, who brought it to you, she says, I'm crying and happy over here. So she's crying. And I just want to say that, like, this is what I live for in the business is when I get messages, when I get text messages with people telling me things like you just said today, um, like that makes me cry and that makes me happy. And I got a message today saying with somebody telling me, or was it yesterday? Someone saying, oh, this woman who has um, small intestinal bacteria overgrowth, she wants to get on the phone with you. She, her, she just got tested and it's gone. Her SIBO is gone, which people struggle from. They get, you know, Crohn's um, often comes from SIBO colitis. I mean, this is a serious intestinal issue. And that is the kind of thing that I live for. It's just hearing stories like that, hearing stories like yours, hearing stories like my own. And then like, just like for fun, read some of the stories in the chat here for those of you who may not may have missed it um uh rhonda said oh my god what have i not gotten 20 years of, of meds and um for reflux gone energy and mental clarity all swung up and i lost nine pounds in menopause slept better fell clean from fell clean from inside out all right and then this is just in the chat these are all the people who are right here on the zoom saying this so and then rowan said I've shed 60 pounds, rid myself of arthritis pain. My carpal tunnel syndrome is at 80% better and I sleep, exclamation points, about 10 exclamation points. And my candida overgrowth shed and shed is gone. And shed and is gone. And the best part is I'm helping others do the same and make an income on top of it. All of it. <laughs> More hiking, Wes says, to conquer mountains, peaks of my age at 60. You're 69? What? I didn't know that, Wes. He's got more energy than I do. He's way more fit. He's really like in more shape, better shape than I am. He's like climbing mountains every single day. Go, Wes. So um, I just wanted to, you know, share that, you know, just a few examples. I get, I have, I have at this point, I have about, about 5,000 people in my organization. That's how many lives I touched just by sharing my story. That inspired some people who then shared their stories, who inspired some people who shared their stories. And, um, you know, how, so Celeste, I don't know if you can jump on right now, but what does it feel like to like see your friend? I mean, you, you joined the company, you became a brand partner and then you like introduced us to Nicole. What did you see in her? Why did you want her to do this? And what is it like to see where she is now? OMG, I am like seriously crying happy tears over here. Mm -hmm. uh, Nicole was the very, very first person that I approached this too. And, um, I remember sending my text message to Rowan, like, this is what I sent her. She's like, wow, that was like really inspired. And it was because I knew with Nicole's, um, focus of recovery, this was going to be a game changer for her. This was going to be a game changer for thousands of people with, with the influence that she had. I had no idea, Nicole, I got to get to the page so I can see when I say this. I had no idea that you were going to just like really make this your own and be like my biggest inspiration. The way that you like, yeah, do yoga, but first do superfoods. Like girl, that's your quote. I mean, you should trademark it. It's brilliant because it doesn't matter what we do on the mat. It doesn't matter what we do anywhere else unless we are taking care of this body temple. And so you and I are a powerhouse together. I cannot wait to continue to see all the people that we reach and, and help on all the levels, all the levels. So much, much love. My little son's behind me. Yay. And Thank you so much for sharing that. See, you inspired. This is, this is my daily medicine. Every single day I get to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner that it's like super healthy and I get to have text all day long with people telling me stories like this, like, wow, life's changing. So, you know, we come together as a team, we help each other, we support each other. You know, one of the things that was solved for me with joining this is that um, as a wedding photographer, I'll just say it was luxurious, right? I was, I was definitely like staying in five-star hotels. I was traveling around the world in the most beautiful places. 
but, and I say a big but, I was lonely. I was hustling, I was working really hard, and it wasn't like I could step away with my, from my job and still be making residual income, you know, money while you sleep, that thing. And um, so, you know, I was lonely because I didn't really have a team that I was like hanging out with like you guys here. And, uh, and then there was that aspect that I was just, you know, hustling and I was just really, really had to always be marketing and thinking. And it was just not something I could, that was really sustainable if I ever needed to like take a break and, and be sick for a while. Um, so yeah, like I said, my, my income declined, you know, as I was sick, trying to find something which ended up being Curium. And just to guys paint you guys a little bit picture, I told you guys I was living in my car my first four months um, <laughs> doing Curium. I was really wanting to build my business. And, um, and, and by the way, if you're living in your car, the cheapest food, if you're homeless, is Curium. <laughs> it is by far the easiest food to eat when you're homeless and poor. And, uh, you know, for $2.50, you can have a, a shake that's the nutrients of 36 organic vegetables, the protein of three eggs, the, um, you know, the, the, the fiber of eight slices of whole grain bread, and the omega-3s of salmon. So I knew I was getting the right nutrients. It only took 30 seconds to shake it up. And, um, you know, I was like on this protocol that was changing my life. But just to spell out a little bit what happened to, for me, you know, financially is... Um, so I really stayed committed to the business. I really, really wanted to like share this with my family. I really wanted to share this with my friends. And I really did want to make income. I really wanted to make money. Um, so I really got busy and I was sharing this as much as I could. And it was great because I was sharing it on Facebook. I was sharing it on, you know, through my phone, texting friends, talking to my friends. And uh, people were just drawn to me because they were seeing my transformation and they were seeing my friends' transformation. So my friends transforming was also attracting people to me because they were like, wow, like your whole friends group, everyone's changing. Like everyone is like transforming, losing weight, you know, or just like looking healthier or getting off medications and all that kind of stuff. So it was really, really satisfying on that level. Um, and so, you know, over, over, over the, over, after about a year in, I traveled, like I had a lot of difficult things that year, you know, my mom died, my dad died, my roommate died, my aunt died. It was a very tragic year. I had a, I had a relationship. And that was really meaningful to me. And so it was really, really a hard year, but Curium gave me a reason to keep living and a reason to keep doing something. It was giving me a purpose. It was my passion and my purpose to like help as many people as possible. I couldn't save my family, but I could save all you guys, <laughs> you know? And so by the end of my first year, um, which I really st focused and stayed dedicated to, um, I was actually able to travel back to the Philippines and meet my brother and my sister and my family. And that was amazing because um, my, my cell phone got stolen while I was swimming in a waterfall. <laughs> my computer broke and I was off grid. I was like, come on, I was in the jungle. I was like, where am I? Like, I'm gonna do my business while I'm out in the jungle. I don't think that's possible. So um, the cool thing though is that I, what surprised me is that I still was getting paid. That here I was not working and I was getting checks for residual income, right? And I paid for my entire trip. I paid for my entire trip to the Philippines and paid for my entire trip to Bali. And when I got back, there was a check to get me started for my next month so I could buy food, you know, and come back and land and actually buy food for the next month. So, um, you know, here I am about three and a half years later and my, you know, I'm making triple what I, what I made in my photography business. Um, it's really paid off and it's, and I have a team, I have a passion, I have a purpose. Um, I have amazing, an amazing, an ama the website already existed. I didn't have to think about prices and trying to figure out a whole new business. It was like a business in a box. And uh, back when I got started, it was about um, $500 to $1,000 to get started with products in the business. And now it is ridiculous how inexpensive it is. Um, people who want to do the business, like you basically, what you get is you're going to get unlimited gift cards. Those cards that we were talking about, right? Those unlimited gift cards. You can get ones for CBD. You can get ones for people to buy the 40 day transformation. They can get whatever they want. And so these cards, um, these unlimited gift cards, if you want to become a brand partner, it's only $199 to get started, which is, um, just let me ask you for a second. Has anyone out here ever started a business? <laughs> Have you ever started a business? Yeah. Did it cost you more than $200? Did it cost you more than a thousand dollars. Like, let's just be real here. I'll tell you my photography business costs at least $2,500, maybe 25,000 to get started. 
And uh, I know people who are, you know, spend thousands and thousands of dollars at school going to get a college education, hundred thousand dollars for, um, you know, an education. <laughs> um, and then they have to spend, then they have to get a hundred thousand dollar loan to get to open up a storefront. And then 94% of businesses fail their first year, right? So then they keep their doors open for a year and then that's it done. Now I'm in debt and I don't have that business and I don't, now I owe all this money. So I see this happening all the time. And, um, you know, the opportunity to like, and so there's an opportunity that's even better. You can actually, there's a way you can, you know, gain the business and become a brand partner for $99. And you can also even become a brand partner for free. So, <laughs> so just to explain what, how that works a little bit is, um, you know, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, if you make an order of $250 or more, you can get the brand partner for $99. You can get unlimited gift cards. You get an app on your phone, right? And the app on your phone allows you to text, um, to send people like videos and information because let's look at it. Like we're all busy, right? So how do we leverage time? Cause the whole point of this is to leverage time. Right? So if you send information, people are educating themselves. You're not having to sit there and explain things. So you send them information through your phone, your phone lets you know that they've checked it out. Um, so this is the business. So for $99, you can have all that. You get your team. You also get access to all of our trainings, which are all free. Um, and all, and, our, and this, and these team meetings and which by the way, they happen all over the world. So we actually also get to become family and we get to travel together and we get to hang out and, and get, to, get to really know each other over time and really support each other. Um, and then the other way, if you wanna get it for free, if you wanna become a brand partner for free, if you, um, if you wanna order $500 or more, if you order $500 in product or more, then you can become a brand partner for absolutely free. And that looks like, you know, a 40 day transformation plus a pack of CBDs, like a two pack of CBDs can give you like enough to actually do your own transformation, have an incredible experience, have a transformation and become, have your business in a box where you can work from anywhere in the world. I've traveled, I've moved to Hawaii and back several times since I started my business. And like I said, traveled around Asia and still was able to, you know, create a you know, six-figure income. And now what that income is really affording me to do is it's enabling me to um, send money to my family in the Philippines, who are really, really broke. I was able to buy my brother teeth, my sister teeth, because they had no rack. They didn't smile at all. I thought my sister was mad and grumpy on Facebook. And then finally, when I went and visited her, she smiled and she had no teeth. And so when I offered her teeth, she was, I said, do you want me to get you some teeth? And she's like, oh, my God, really? That's my dream is to have teeth. I can get a job if I have teeth. I was like, are you kidding me? Oh my God, if she, she could get a job if she has teeth. Come on now. So I got her some teeth, got my brother some teeth. Um, since then have been able to um, uh, um, pay for my, my, my niece and my nephew, um, my other brother, my other two brothers, their children, um, put them both in college. So, you know, this has been an answer to my dreams beyond anything I could ever have prayed for. I mean, it still blows my mind. It blows my mind that I have what I can give, you know, to be able to provide for my family and to also know that I have a cushion if I, if I ever get sick, you know, that I can actually step away from my business, still like have the residual income, you know, offering me income. And, you know, this is the world of the, um, this is the world of, you know, where everyone is buying everything online, right? Amazon, uh, you know, um, <laughs> maybe Amazon's the only place. <laughs> no, there's a lot of different stores online. And, um, you know, long story short is when you join, when you, if you become a brand partner, you have your own online superfood superstore. All right. We are powered by Shopify. So we have amazing technology. Um, we have an awesome, you know, people have leave reviews on our site, just like Amazon. You have, you get to, you get to log in and unlike Amazon, unlike Amazon, your money is going towards all the causes that I just mentioned. Um, you're getting paid instead of an advertising company. So you're getting paid instead of Amazon, essentially. You're getting paid to do the sharing instead of Amazon getting paid. So I really love this model and um, we'll talk about it a little bit more. I just want to give you guys like the kind of just a general breakdown and kind of just, um, you know, um, answer some questions if you guys have any. Um, but yeah, so this is, you know, something that, uh, you know, really has changed my life, has changed my health, 
and change my finances. And what I love more than anything is I have a community of friends. This is probably the most important part to me, you guys, is I have a community of friends. I'm seeing a lot of you guys smiling right here. I love you so much. And um, yeah, so I just want to welcome any conversation, any, any questions that people might have or any comments if you, if you have. And um, thank you all for joining tonight.